Okay, for this project I'm going to show you how to set up a host only configuration for a virtual network and instead of firing up some of my servers I'm just going to use uh, two virtual machines that are desktop, one Windows, one Ubuntu 64-bit. Uh, my host machine is an Ubuntu machine so uh, one of the first things you want to do is I'm using Workstation 12 Pro it should be version 12.5.5 I believe that's the latest one I do keep this updated anyway in Workstation first thing we're going to do is go to edit and then virtual network editor now you've got to provide your administrative password here because uh, you don't want people messing with this I mean you can really screw some stuff up if you're not careful okay so here we are let me remove that because I'm going to recreate that here so let me open that back up again I did a little trial run earlier just to iron out a few of the kinks okay these are the default three VM nets you get with workstation we got a bridge auto bridging which means your virtual machines bridge through the NIC in your host machine to go out to your router gateway whatever you got set up to reach the internet your uh, NAT configuration pulls in individual IP addresses for your virtual machines so that they can talk to your gateway and they're separate and then you got a host only configuration which is where the machines talk only within the host machine itself they're not reaching out past there into your network and that's what we're going to configure here I could use the standard one but I'm going to create a new one to show you how to do that simply go to add network we're going to use VMNet2 you can use whatever number is available that isn't already there that's key and we're going to go to host only virtual machines are in a private network with your computer just the host machine all right we're going to hit add let's go back to VMNet2 it's highlighted down here host only connect internally in the private network use local DHCP service to distribute IP addresses to VMs I'm going to leave this checked because I'm not setting up a, a DHCP server to hand out these IP addresses now larger networks especially corporate environments you're going to have your own DHCP servers to handle this but for the sake of brevity and simplicity we're just going to let it do it automatically you know it is dynamic host let's let it just do its job and connect the host virtual adapter VMNet to this network that's fine subnet IP you can use pretty much anything you want here within reason so I'm going to do 192.168 dot two dot zero most of your home networks default to like this dot one so let's create a dot two let's make it different all right so let's hit save all right that's working so we've got our virtual network set up here so on our Ubuntu machine I've already got it up and rolling here uh, let me power down let me power this Windows machine down show you what we do here and lovely every time I use Windows this is what happens I don't care what I'm doing or how I'm doing it that always happens anyway on both of these virtual machines what we're going to do is in the main page here go to your network adapter all right and it's going to default to what our my default was which was bridge which is connecting directly to the physical network what we want to do is go to custom here and select the one that we just configured which is uh, VMNet2 that's our host only configuration and click save we'll also do this on the Windows machine once it decides to finish updating now that we've got the Ubuntu machine on VMNet2, let's go ahead and spool it up. It shouldn't take very long. Let's check on this. At least it was only three updates this time. I hate it when it's around 100 and it seems like it takes two days. All right, Ubuntu's up. I don't know if you could hear the notification, so let's log in. Get that 
a second. Just check on our Windows guy over here. Poor fella. Okay, we've got Ubuntu in here. So let's just see what our IP address is. To do that, I'm going to open up the terminal. You can either click this dash icon up here and type in terminal. And there it is. Personally, I just hit Control alt t bring it up. So, let's see what the IP address is. If config. <clears throat> okay, our INET address is 192.168.2.128. That's great. That means that it is connected to the IP address pool that we set up in the virtual network editor. So, let's see if we have internet access. I'm just going to open up Firefox while I check on Windows. Hey, we're done. Go to the same thing here, Network Adapter. I've already selected Dev VMNet 2 because that's our uh, custom network that we set up for host only. Hit save. And we'll go ahead and spool this back up. Hopefully it won't take long to configure those updates. Switching back to Ubuntu, we see that Firefox is still trying to connect and it won't because this VM is not leaving my host machine to access the network outside of here. It's not accessing the internet or anything else on my network outside of the host machine for that for that point. So uh, now let's see if we can connect to our network drive. So let's browse the network. And that takes a while on this VM for some reason. Oh, we're at 100%. Cooking with bacon grease. All right. That's up. We'll give it a second to settle in. I don't want to connect to a server. Let's browse the network. There we go. Sometimes it's a little finicky. I need to update this. I just use it for demo stuff. All right, browse network, Windows network. Let's double click that. Let it work on opening it. All right, we're in our Windows machine. So let's, if you notice down here, we've got the little yellow warning triangle and we hover over it. No internet access. Good, I didn't want internet access. Just to double check that, let's fire up Chrome and see what happens. Oh, we got nothing. Yeah, nothing. If it was connected to the internet, this would have loaded up already. I know that. I tried it many times. Oh, there we go. DNS cannot be found. That's right, because we're not reaching outside of here. Okay, so let's check our IP address and yeah, I like the terminal. It's okay. I always get it confused. It's if config on Linux systems and ip config on Windows. Okay, our IPv4 address 192.168.2, good, dot 129. All right, that means the local DHCP, give it one above the Ubuntu machine. Everything's great here. We're on local domain subnet mask is correct great that means that worked now let's go to network here let's turn on network discovery and file sharing yes uh, we'll make it a private network that doesn't matter we'll let that scan for a minute check that progress bar out let's flip back to Ubuntu okay it's found my work group this is where I set up those Samba shares for my host machine. Let's double click that. Give it a second. I really ought to up the RAM going to that VM. This one's still scanning. Opening. Yeah, I dumped a, a fair amount of RAM to this Windows 7 VM. And I kind of skimped on it on the Ubuntu. I'll have to go back and fix that later. Okay, my host machine, we're going to call that Falcon 1, which is what I've named it in this. We'll double click that. Hopefully it'll ask me to authenticate as a user. I know I had guest access, but 
I've also got me listed in the group on my host machine where it'll ask for authentication. At least that's what I hope. Ah, right, here we go. Network password to connect. I'm going to use uh, my username. All right. Let's connect. Ah, here are my network drives. There's my music share that I created in the other video. My printer, which I use my host as the printer share for that. And there's my downloads folder that I created a share from on my host machine. So, I mean, everything looks great here. So out of curiosity, uh, let's just see if one of these MP3s will open up. I gotta try. Alright, Ubuntu, there we go. Falcon 1, there's some other shares I've got. That is the uh, Windows machine that I'm using on this VM here. And what do you know? It's playing. Good, that works. I'm going to close all that out. Alright, yeah, there's the shares I've created on that VM. So let's go to Falcon 1, my host. Really got to up, <laughs> up the RAM on this thing. Still no internet. That's great. Kind of curious. Okay. Media device. Yeah, all that looks great. Ah, here we go. Back on the Ubuntu machine. I'm connected to the host, which is Falcon 1. There's my downloads, my music, and my print share. If we go into the music. Click connect. It's probably going to reject me. I hope it does. If not, that means I need to go back and uh, play with the Samba configuration on my host machine. Or it may work since I've connected from this machine before and stored my credentials. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and shut this one down. Yeah, I could have used VMware tools, but eh, why not? Just for old time's sake. Ah, there we go. Unable. Permission denied. Good. All right. The downloads do the same thing, but that's the new share I created, so we'll open that one. Let's try a registered user this time. Because you really, really, really just don't want anyone on your network accessing your Samba shares. See, kids, the sluggishness <laughs> verifies the importance of RAM. Anyway. There's my downloads folder that I created the share for on my host machine. So now you've got an idea of how to set up a host only configuration where your VMs that you're running can only talk to the host machine and they can't go past there to talk to your network. You can set them up to talk to each other. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If you see anything that I did wrong, please let me know. I'm no expert at this. 
and uh, if there's anything in addition to this you want to see me do just uh, leave a comment and I'll do my best to get to it so thanks for putting up with me and we'll see you again next time